In this video, we're going to talk about setting up layer slider. So after installing and activating Bridge, if you navigate to plugins in your admin panel, you will see a notice at the top that tells you about plugins that are required for the Bridge theme. And here it says layer slider. So I'm going to click on begin installing plugins. Next to layer slider, I'm going to check the box and click on install. It says plugin installed successfully. So I'm going to return to the plugins installer. Next to layer slider, I'm going to click on activate. And I'm going to refresh the page. All right, so now we've successfully activated layer slider. And here in the admin panel, you will see layer slider. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Over here, you will see several options. It says template store. I will talk about that a bit later in the video. Import sliders. This gives you the option to import a pre-designed slider. If you took a look at our demo sites on Theme Forest, you might notice that several of them use the layer slider. And you can import any one of those sliders onto your own site. So I'm going to open the bridge light demo. This demo site is using a layer slider here at the top, and I'm going to import it onto my site. In order to do that, first I will need to navigate to Theme Forest and log into my account, and I will go to my downloads page. Over here it says Bridge. I'm going to click on Download and then All Files and Documentation. Now I'm going to open this file that I just downloaded. Inside, you will see a folder called XML export. So I'm going to click on that folder. And inside, we see a folder called layer sliders. So let's open this folder. Now here you will see a list of all the prepackaged sliders. All of these sliders are used on our demo sites and you can import them onto your own site. If you take a look at the file name, you will see a number at the end. Here it says bridge 92. And this number corresponds to the demo site's URL. So let's go back to the demo site that I've chosen. So I want to import this slider here. And in the URL, it says bridge 6. So let's go back. Now I will need to find a zip file ending with bridge 6.zip. And here it is, bridge6.zip. This is the slider that I want to import, so I'm going to extract this file. Now I'm going to log into my site again. And here I'm going to click on Import Sliders. Now I'm going to choose the file that I just extracted a moment ago. Here it is, layer slider bridge6.zip. And I'm going to click on Import Sliders. The slider has now imported, so let's go ahead and click on it. All right, here it is. Now, in order to add my slider to the page, I'm going to click on Slider Settings. Down here, it says Use Shortcode. I'm going to copy this shortcode here. I'm going to navigate to the page where I want to add my slider. And here on the page, I'm going to scroll down to the section under Code General. And here in this field, it says Layer Slider or Code Slider Shortcode. So this is where I'm going to paste the shortcode. Here it is. Now I'm going to save the page. And I'm going to preview this page. As we can see, the slider has now successfully imported. Now there's also a different way of adding a layer slider to your page. I'm going to delete this shortcode that I've just added. I'm going to click on add element. And over here in the search bar, I'm going to start typing layer slider. Here we see the layer slider shortcode. So I'm going to click on it. Here in the drop down, I'm going to choose the slider that I just imported and click on save changes. Let's look at the page again. And once again, we see that we've added the slider to our page. Let's go back to the slider settings once again. 
As far as editing the slider itself, Layer Slider is a third-party plugin, so we recommend looking at the official plugin documentation. And here it is. We will leave this link under the video description, and we recommend looking at the documentation in order to familiarize yourself with the various options that come with Layer Slider. I'm going to go back to the slider settings again. So we've talked about how to import a pre-designed slider. Over here, you have the option of adding a new slider. So this is useful if you want to build a new slider from scratch. And over here, it's asking you to activate the Layer Slider plugin. Now, Layer Slider is bundled with Bridge. And what that means is that when you purchase Bridge, you will receive a free copy of the Layer Slider plugin. This plugin will have the same core functionalities as if you were to purchase a standalone version of the plugin. There are some differences between bundled and standalone plugins. Bundled plugins do not require activation. So this message here that's asking you to activate layer slider, you can simply ignore it. Also with bundled plugins, you do not have access to automatic updates. However, once the plugin author releases a new version of Layer Slider, we include that version in the next bridge theme update. So you will be able to update Layer Slider by updating your bridge theme. With each new version of bridge, you will receive the latest versions of the bundled plugins. All right, and now here it says template store. So let's take a look at this option as well. Here, if you click on all free, you will see some templates that come with layer sliders. So you can choose one of these templates and import it to use it as a starting point for your slider. Over here, it says all premium. So these templates are only available to users who have purchased a standalone version of the plugin. So if you want to use these premium templates, then you will need to purchase a copy of Layer Slider. So this video was about setting up Layer Slider for your site. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section and we'll try to get back to you. Thank you for watching.